All right, everybody, I'm gonna spoil the plot of every single big monster film that's ever been made. Oh, I am the- I am the town's local scientist. I have detected that a giant stick man is destroying the town. I am the general of the army. That can't be right. There's no such thing as giant monsters. Smash cut to the scientist and the sergeant standing in front of the monster. Why didn't you tell me there was a giant monster? Men, take this scientist away. He's a, he's a loon. Then five minutes later, the tanks all roll up. Hang on. Oh, fire at will, men. Sarge, our puny human weapons are no use. And then the tanks all get destroyed. They go back to another scientist, because the first scientist is in jail. Well, you see, we need to use some kind of electro weapon to take down the kaiju. That sounds ridiculous, but it's the only option we got. And they roll up with the electricity weapon, and they fire at the giant monster. Then it immediately gets smashed again, stomped on by the kaiju. The city is in ruins. All hope appears to be lost. But wait! Another monster, in fact, a monster from the last installment in the film franchise, has risen up from the ocean, this time with an extra special power. Now, the monster has turned and is working on humanity's side. What was previously the Earth's biggest threat is now the Earth's only savior. An epic battle occurs. The love interest of the hero character is put in extreme danger, but at the last minute manages to get to safety and the evil robot is destroyed. Just like that. But for how long?